Well, good morning everybody. Oh, this is my Lincoln Town car. Uh, it's a 2005 Lincoln Town car signature. Um, limited, yeah. You know, pretty loaded. Uh, white. I don't know if you can see it's got the moon roof on top. You know, that, that looks very good on it, I think. Uh, it's in very good shape. Uh, the previous owner had put new Firestone tires on it. So I'm not going to need tires for a long, long, long time. This car has no door dings in it. I'm surprised a 2005 to not have door dings. You know, the body's in real good shape. Okay, let's go over to this side. Now, it looks like it was scuffed a little here. Like somebody rubbed up against something. But, um, it's not damaged. It's just where it needs to be touched up with some white honey. There we go. Alright. Okay, this side is perfect. No door dings on this side either. There, now you can see the moon leaf up on top here. Very good side. Okay, let's go around to the back. I don't know if you can see the seat from in here, but I'll unlock the door here shortly. But the paint is excellent on this car. Man, shiny. Very shiny. Okay. Let's walk down this side again. It's got the uh, keyless entry uh, pad on the door. Yeah, I like those in case of an emergency. You keep it written down on something and put it in your wallet. Okay. Here's the back of her. It's got the heated rear glass. You know, in case one ever gets frosted up. And here's a view of the back. And uh, this is also not damaged. But it's where somebody scuffed up against something. I can spot touch that like with the artist brush and white acrylic enamel. Okay. It's scuffed a little on this side, but again, it's in a way. See, this is not on the metal body. This part's made out of plastic. I can spot touch that up. It'll be fine. Okay, so we're okay there. It's got the lower body trim on this part. A lot of them don't. Okay. Oh man. Yeah, I need to do some lawn work like my neighbors are doing. But this is a rear view of her. This car, man, I'll tell you what, that paint is excellent. And I've checked it all over. I've looked under it, the rocker panels. There is no rust on this car. Okay, we've got some mild wear on the uh, front seat, but it's reasonable. Okay, the interior is excellent. And there's the moon roof, but I haven't slid this back. You know, okay, this is the inner. Oh boy, the only thing I've got this loose right now is I'm gonna change the switch because the driver's window's not working. This is broken. You see this, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one work. See, this is the master control right here. It's a switch. I've already determined that. Unplugged it and used the test light, you know. Oh, everything like that. Okay. And then this piece that goes right here, I've got it laying over here. 
I'll just put it back on there once I'm through with this. See, there's no rust. Like on the lower door, it's clean. It is very, very clean. Very, very clean. Okay. Very good. See, no rust up in there or the inner part of the vendor. It's very tight. Very, very tight. Okay. This car. How much did I give for it? Eighteen hundred dollars. Eight eighteen hundred dollars. Okay. And I've got I knew the things that I would need to, you know, uh, deal with, you know. Like this minor uh, on the trim down here, you know, that I've already showed. <coughs> oh boy. Oh man, I'm tired. <coughs> but here she is. Oh, the mileage on this car? 194,000 miles. But I've already checked the front tire rod ends, the upper A-frame and the lower, and the bushings are okay as well as the ball joints. And the uh, steering is very tight in this car. <coughs> And the owner themselves got me a Carfax report. And this 2005 Signature Limited, uh, you know, after it was inspected, you know, by them, they did, took this on themselves and gave me copies before they put it up for sale. And uh, $6,425. $6,425 because of the condition it's in. And that engine is excellent. That engine needs nothing. It's been well taken care of. And uh, the 4.6 modular V8s in these cars, your Crown Victoria, your Mercury Marquis, and your Lincoln Town cars are known to last about 400,000 miles. A long time but this one is very well maintained uh, I'm glad I bought the car uh, when I saw the title of this it's got this car weighs 4,400 pounds empty weight oh man and I thought how can that car weigh that much but I've never driven one if you ever drive one then you'll know how they can weigh 4,400 pounds then you will know. And uh, the sheet metal is very thick on these cars. You know, like when I open that hood, when I drop it down, you know, I don't just drop it down. You don't have to push it down. That hood is heavy. That hood is heavy. So they built these cars good, and they're not unibody. They are, they have the Panther front, the Panther cast iron front frame on these cars and uh, so, so they are good and there's a lot of good reviews on these cars as well and um, but anyway um, I'm getting it all done here uh, I had to fix the driver's mirror the outer mirror uh, I'll show you all what I'm talking about oh it was last night I watched a video on it. Uh, uh, see right here, that that was loose. When I drive it, you could see it wiggle. What it is, you put your palm in the middle of these. It has a round circle of plastic behind the mirror itself, and it pops into the holder, you know, for the electric windows. And uh, so that's fixed. It just needed to be pushed back in. Somebody probably tried to manually adjust it with their thumbs by sticking their arm out the window. A lot of people do that. And see, and it came off of that uh, round piece of plastic that it snaps onto. That's probably, so that's fixed. Okay, what else? That's about it. Y'all have seen the car. It's a very nice looking car. 
I'm glad I bought it. Of course, uh, sure y'all have seen my Ford F-150 Super Crew Cab, and I showed in a previous video, I think it's about four videos ago, of the new Adventure tires I put on it. And that vehicle is in excellent condition. Oh boy, and that's my Dodge Ram Tiger truck. It's a 98. I, I love that truck. It's easy to work on. Those are very dependable. Okay, what else? What else, boys and girls? I think that pretty much sums it up, but later, later.